very kind, but but uh, I think I have to get home. But thank you. <laughs> Okay, so there's a question about the character at the end being a different character that kills Richard. Who would like to illuminate us on that one? <laughs> um, I think there's a slight sense that uh, in the original text, uh, he, he's killed by a character called Exton, who shows up sort of in the last uh, uh, five minutes to midnight in the play. He, he has no, uh, we have no dramatic investment in, it, in him, and he kills Richard. It feels a little <clears throat> uninvested. It feels like Shakespeare meant it to be Omar, I think, and I think we, we reached a sort of consensus on that. Otherwise, the whole scene with, with the king and the Yorks appealing to the king doesn't really go anywhere. It doesn't seem to have a dramatic purpose. Um, it, it, as soon as we made Omer the murderer, it just seemed to make a... a, a, a it just seemed to bring Omer's character and, and so much of the play itself into focus. Um, I mean, we're not the first people to do it. It's been done in other productions before. Um, and indeed, other people have killed Richard in other productions. But uh, <laughs> it, it feels right. Certainly to me, it feels, dare I say it, that that's what Shakespeare intended. There are, you, you, can, you can postulate theories, you see, that uh, as it happened, for instance, in Henry IV Part One, uh, when Falstaff was originally called Old Castle, and Shakespeare was, was made to change it to Falstaff because the Old Castle family complained. It, you could postulate the theory that the Rutland family didn't like the idea of one of their ancestors being Richard's assassin. And it does feel like there's a hasty rewrite when Exton shows up. Um, obviously, we'll never know, but it, it, it feels to me that, that the, the, the play is more complete with Amal as the murderer. Okay, does anybody want to add anything? No, okay. Next question. Gentlemen down there, thank you. 